In the fourth step of our video tutorial, you will learn how to perform a sample level enrichment analysis, or short SLIA, in Chai Tools. What is SLIA, you may ask? Simply put, we will analyze the transcriptional status of different pathways in each sample of a cohort of patients. Note that the same analysis can be done substituting pathways for other gene sets, called modules. In practical terms, we will convert a matrix of gene expression per sample to a matrix of pathway expression per sample. We will then compare the pathway expression value for different subgroups of samples to see if it correlates with clinical features. In this tutorial, we will perform SLIA with our glioblastoma expression data for five CAC pathways stored in the .gmt file. First of all, we need an open instance of Chai Tools. Download the version 162 or later at www.chaitools.org. Once we have Chai Tools open and running, we will click the Enrichment Analysis button in the Welcome tab and the new visitor will open that guides us through the analysis. We select our multi-value matrix data file and the expression median centered values. No data filtering options need to be set in the second step. In the module selection, we want to load the file that maps the pathways to gene IDs. Each module will be analyzed separately for each sample unless we apply some filtering. As statistical test, we apply a set score test for a very important reason. Biologically seen, we have chosen expression values to be able to analyze over and under expression in a set of genes or a module. Statistically seen, the Fisher and binomial tests are to analyze binary data and set score tests for continuous data, which is our case. Note that just for time reasons, we reduce the sampling size to 100. Normally, we would leave the default value. In the end, we choose where to save the result, give a title to the analysis and hit finish. Once the analysis has finished, we will open the result matrix. So the modules file contained the five pathways, which we can see now as rows. In the columns, we have the same sample as in the original data. We can see which samples show differential expression in which pathways. To add more information, we load clinical annotations for our samples. Upon loading, we can add the information from that file to the matrix as headers. We choose to add glioblastoma subtypes as colored labels. The samples for which no annotation was found in the annotation file have assigned NA, not available. They will not be useful to us, so we filter them out. Now we can sort the data according to glioblastoma subtype. Choose data, sort by label, sort columns by label, subtype. And suddenly we can see a much clearer pattern in the significance of the differentially expressed pathways. But still we cannot tell the difference between over and under expressed pathways. Therefore we choose to display set score values. Thus we can see in red over and in blue, underexpressed pathways. If you are interested in what genes form part of a module, we can view the original data just for that module by clicking on the button on the top right and have the pathway in, in interest selected. Thus we can see where this data originates from, as well that there is a concordant change in expression status among the genes in the same subgroups within that very pathway. So, that was how to perform a sample enrichment analysis, or SLIA.